there and welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. The problem that comes into us today is a linear system in three variables. So we'll have an X, a Y, and a Z, and it is a football problem. So let's get started. All right. The question reads, a football team scored a total of 50 points in one game. They scored 14 times. The scoring was made up of touchdowns, which are six points, PATs, which are one point, and field goals, which are three points. They had more three more touchdowns than field goals. How many of each type of score did the team have? Okay, so I love this problem, mostly because I love football. So this is a very good problem. If you want to go to the question, you want to know first off, what are, what are my variables going to be? What are my X, my Y, and my Z going to represent? And you will find that out by going to what the question is asking of you. So they're asking how many of each type of score did the team have? Okay, so then if we want to know how many of each type of score, each type of score is going to be our variables. And there are three types of scores. There were touchdowns, so we're going to let that be X. There were field goal, well, point after touchdowns, so we're going to say PATs, we're going to let that equal Y. And there were field goals. And we're going to let that equal Z. So there are three unknowns, there are three variables. And you'll always find that in the last sentence where it's actually asking you what you're going to find for this. So let's look at the information we have, start to put together some equations here. Okay, we have three unknowns, so we're going to have three equations. And we always look for a total equation. We look for something where it's going to be X plus Y plus Z equals a total amount. It doesn't always happen, but 98% of the time, you're going to have an X plus Y plus Z equals whatever the total is. And then you're going to have other equations that involve rates, uh, values attached to them. So a 5x, 6x, 7x, something attached to each variable. All right, so let's look at what we have. We know that we're going to let x equal the number of TDs. We know we're going to let y equal the number of PATs. Kind of hope those are the same unless they went for two. And we're going to let z equal the number of field goals. Okay, so here's the information we have. We know that they scored 50 points. Okay, that's not going to be x plus y plus z equals 50 because x, y, and z are all worth different number of points. x touchdowns are worth 6, PATs are worth 1, field goals are worth 3. So that's not going to work. We're going to save that information for later. We also know that they scored 14 times. Now that will work. So they scored one of these things or more 14 times. So the scoring was made up of three types of scores and it happened 14 times. So that gives us our first equation, X plus Y plus Z equals 14. Well, great. So let's work with this scored 50 points. So if you scored 50 points, and it was made up of touchdowns, point after touchdowns, and field goals, then we have to associate points with each of these. So each touchdown will give us six points, so 6x plus each PAT gives us one point, so just y, plus each field goal gives us three points, so 3z. There we get our 50 points. So now because we have three variables, we need three equations. So we need another piece of information. And it does tell us that they had three more touchdowns, so three more TDs, than field goals, which is always good. You don't want to get into the red zone and settle for a field goal. So that means X, our number of touchdowns, would be equal to our number of field goals plus three. So three plus Z. And there we have our three equations. And from here, we're going to solve. Okay, so I'm going to move this up just a little bit. I'm going to bring another piece of whiteboard paper here. All right, so what we're going to do is I think the best strategy here is to use these two equations up here and get rid of Y. Because we already have an equation that just has X and Z in it. So if we can use um, multiplication to eliminate y, which look, we both have a, we have a y here and a y here, so it would just take multiplying by negative one, then we would be able to create two equations with two variables. And that's what we want to do. We want to, from these three equations, create two equations that have two variables, an x and a y, an x and a z, whatever have you, so that we could solve it like a two variable system that we're used to. So 
we're going to take x plus y plus z equals 14 and we're going to multiply it by negative 1. So x plus y plus z equals 14 all gets multiplied by negative 1, which will give us very simply negative x minus y minus z equals negative 14, right? And then we are going to add the equation at the bottom, 6x plus y plus 3z equals 50. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two equations to make a, an equation that doesn't have a y value. All right, so the y values, we have negative x, so negative 1 plus 6 is 5x. The y's are going to cancel. You have negative 1 plus 1 is 0. You have 3z minus 1z, so plus 2z equals 50 minus 14, so you're going to get 36. Okay, so this gives us one equation that has just an x and a z. So we're going to put this over here. It's going to be our new system we're going to solve. And now we'll use the other equation that just has these two in it as well. x equals 3 plus z. Uh, I will change it around a little bit. I will subtract the z over here. So I'm going to say x minus z equals 3. Okay, so now we have a two-variable system that we're going to solve. We know how to solve two-variable systems. They're very easy. We'll solve it for x, then we'll solve it for z, or maybe vice versa. And then we will plug those two values into one of our original equations and have x, y, and z all solved for. All right, so looking at this, we have a 5 and a 1. So I can multiply the bottom equation by negative 5. We have a 2 and a negative 1 for z. We can multiply the bottom equation by 2. Generally, if I have a positive and a negative coefficient of a variable, I'm going to work with that, and I'm going to get rid of it by multiplying by a positive. So let's do that. We're going to take the second equation and multiply it by 2. So we have 5x plus 2z equals 36. And now I'll just do this in another color so you can see it. This equation is getting multiplied by 2. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative z is negative 2z and 2 times 3 is 6. And we are going to combine these two equations. Okay, move this up a little bit so it's easier to see. We're going to combine those two equations. 5x plus 2x is 7x. 2 plus negative 2 gives us nothing, which we were hoping we would get. And 36 plus 6 is 42. Works out very nicely because 42 is divisible by 7. Divide by 7, divide by 7, x equals 6. So we know that they scored 6 touchdowns. Pretty good game. So we can now take the six touchdowns and use this equation, x plus, sorry about that, x equals three plus z, and put in our known value. We know x is six, so six equals three plus z. We subtract three from both sides, and we get z equals three. So now we know that z equals three and x equals six. So we can take any of our original equations and plug in our two known values. So I'm going to go way back to our original x plus y plus z equals 14 because it's the nicest and easiest, and I'm going to use that. So x plus y plus z equals 14. I'm going to put a little thing through my z because my kids say they look like twos. And my x is 6, so 6. My y is still my unknown. My z is 3 equals 14. 6 and 3 is 9, right? So we're going to say subtract 9, subtract 9. y equals 14 minus 9, which is 5. So we have that they scored 6 touchdowns, 5 point after the touchdowns, and 3 field goals. So it looks like they missed a field goal. Uh, they missed a point after the touchdown. Uh, one more thing. Your answer is a coordinate point, so let's write it correctly. It is a three-dimensional system point, so we're going to say 6 is our x value, 5 is our y value, 3 is our z value, and that is our final answer. Okay, I hope this solution helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.